To face swap in Photoshop, you want to first of all get yourself the two images. So for the example of this video, I'll be using this image and I'll also be using this image of Jeff because why not? So once you've got yourself the two images, you want to first of all go ahead and left click on the lock to unlock it to be a layer so we can actually edit it. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and press Ctrl or Command and J and you want to get yourself a copy of it and hide the one underneath it. All you've got to do is go to the third tool down, right click in here and get yourself the lasso tool. We're going to simply left click, drag this out and get yourself a selection of the face. Go all the way back to the very first one. Once you've connected it all up, you then want to go ahead and press Ctrl or Command and J and you want to go to the first tool, left click on here and drag this one onto your second project. A really useful thing is to press the five key on your keyboard and this will lower it to 50%. And we're also going to press Ctrl or Command and T to get ourselves the transformation controls. And we're just going to scale this down and make sure it fits onto this face right here. We're going to also right click on here and go to flip vertically. And we're going to align this onto this head right here. A cool trick for this is I use the eye as a guiding post for the other face to go onto. So for example, as you can see, I'm focusing on this area right here and I'm trying to match it to the other one as much as possible. Once you've done that, you can then double left click to apply it once you're happy with the location. When it comes to mashing the faces together, a great thing for this is to get yourself the lasso tool and you want to mix and match the different facial features. So for this one, we're going to stick with the original chin, which is slightly more wider than this one right here. So we're just going to cut this one up and we're going to press Ctrl and D. And as you can see, that looks a lot more accurate compared to before. Now that you've done that, this is the easy part. All you gotta do is press zero on your keyboard and we're going to hold control or command, left click on the face to get ourselves a selection. You want to go up to select, go down to modify and get yourself a contract. In here, you want to set it to 10 pixels and you want to go ahead and press okay. Now that you've done that, all you gotta do now is go ahead and select yourself the main image and then you want to press delete. We're going to hold shift, left click on the top one you want to go up to edit and then go down to auto blend layers. Once this window pops up, you want to make sure you have the first one selected and you have the seamless tones and colors selected. Go ahead and press okay. And this will just automatically blend these faces together. So from here, we can press control and D to deselect it. And as you can see, it has nicely blended the edges what I normally like to do to make it look more realistic is I like to fix up the lighting and make it look like it actually makes sense. So you want to go to the adjustments. If you don't have it open, you can go to window and get yourself the adjustments, which is right here. The first adjustment is going to be a photo filter. And what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a nice warm filter of 85. And we're going to set this one to 16% for the percentage or the density. You can then minimize this. We're going to select ourselves the mask and you want to press Control or Command and I to invert it. Once you've done that, you want to go to the brush tool. You want to go to the brush settings right at the top, set it to 155, 0% for the hardness and then set it on a Y color. And from here, what we can do is we can left click on here and as you can see, this actually matches the actual face itself. So it's getting rid of the purple colors and replacing it with a orange color. We're going to go back into the adjustments and you want to get yourself a brightness and contrast. So we're going to make it a lot brighter by increasing the brightness to something like, let's say 46. But we also want to turn down the contrast to minus 18. You can then minimize this and we're going to once again do the same thing as last time. Press Control or Command and I to invert it and we're going to paint this onto here just to only light up the areas we actually want it to be lit up. So we're going to brighten these areas 
And we're also going to swap on over to a black color. We're going to increase the brush size to something like 500. And we're just going to soften the edges a lot more so they blend nicely. And there we go. As you can see, it's looking a lot better. Next up, we also want to go back into the adjustments, get ourselves a hue and saturation, and we're just going to bring the colors back by getting ourselves something like, let's say, plus 10 for the saturation. And you can see it makes it look a lot better. And then finally, the very last thing that we're going to do is we're going to fix up the colors once again. So you want to go back into the adjustments and then just get yourself a color balance. From here, we're going to set the cyan and the red to a minus six. So this is just going to take away some of the reds, and just make it look a little bit more natural, as you can see. Now we're going to do the same effect for the other face. So if you go ahead and hold shift, left click on the bottom one, get yourself a group, and we're going to hide this one and unhide the backup that we created. So from here, we would once again get ourselves the lasso tool. We would get ourselves a selection of this face. You want to once again make sure you're selecting this one and press Ctrl or Command and J. With this one, we're going to go to the first tool, left click, drag this onto the second image, and we're going to drop it onto this one right here. You want to press Ctrl and T, and we're going to scale this up. We're going to hold Ctrl or Command, left click on the face, and we want to make sure this one is underneath here. We're going to hide this one, and we're going to go up to Select, Modify, Contract, and then do it by 10 pixels again. You then want to go on this one, press Delete, Hold shift, click on the top one, and we're going to go back to edit and go down to auto blend layers. You then want to press Ctrl and D to deselect it. And as you can see, this has once again nicely blended it together. But it's also changed the lighting, which makes it look more unrealistic and it looks a little bit odd. So a cool trick for this and something that I use to make it look realistic is I first of all make sure that I have blended the face. So if there's any areas, for example, this bottom bit of the chin, I use the healing brush tool. The second one down, I right click on here and convert this into a smart object. You then want to right click on here and also rasterize layer so we can edit it. Now that you've done that, we're just going to increase the brush size, hold Alt, left click on the top bit. And we're just going to make this blend down here with this bottom bit as well. Now that we've fixed up the chin, to do the trick that I do is you want to get yourself another copy of the original one. Move this one above the one that you've just been editing. And we're going to unhide this one right here or make it visible. Now that you've made this one visible, you want to get yourself a mask. And we're just going to go ahead and get yourself the brush tool. Make sure you're selecting a black color and we're going to set the brush size to something like, let's say 400. Once you've done that, you then want to left click onto here. And as you can see, we can now reveal the face which we've just swapped. And the reason why this works a lot better is because this gives you the freedom to make it blend really well. So as you can see, the chin just blends a lot better and just makes it look more realistic. We can also swap on over to a white color and make sure we blend the face or the forehead a lot more at the top. And there we go. And that is pretty much it. That's how you face swap in Photoshop with realistic results. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think of this video. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Bye.